Well, today is a very special day for all of us here at Channel 12. 60 years ago, we went on the air, and over those years, a number of people have sat at this desk. One person in particular always wished you better tomorrows. Here's Kathy Michaelby with a look back at Jerry Taft. We have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Old friends at first glance. It's been nine years since Jerry Tapp anchored the 10 o'clock news here at Channel 12, first with Vince Gibbons and ultimately with me. He retired in May of 2005 after 25 years. A healthy slice of the 60 years we're marking at this television station this month. We caught up with him the other day in his element. I keep thinking, you know, where might I go? Amid a herd of larger than life bronze longhorns at a rancher's museum in the western high plains of Texas, to us, he's a familiar face. To Lubbock, not so much. Being anonymous is just wonderful. Jerry Taft tells us how he's essentially gone home again. I'm having so much fun I can't stand it. But it's, it's in very great measure because of, because, you know, I grew up 60 miles from here. Most of those people moved to the big city, Lubbock, <laughs> and they never left. So they're still here. So I really am truly surrounded by people that I've known since third grade. Lubbock, Texas. This is Jerry Taft country. Endless cotton fields. I think you look like you're, you're healthy. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, uh, my knees still work. I remember I got my knees done when I was in Milwaukee. Uh, they just they did a marvelous job, you know. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you sound healthy. You yeah. you look healthy. Still have my hair. Yeah. The hum of the jack pump. You see the pride of being the home of Texas Tech everywhere. Every day it's a getting closer. And you can't miss a tribute to the late great Buddy Holly, who put Lubbock on the yeah. rock and roll map. Jerry tells me every day he's reminded life is getting shorter. Don't get old, man. Right. You know, I just turned 74. That's the silliest thing I say at any given day. Yeah. I, you know, I just, I still think I'm 27. But I have so many friends who have died or who are dying as we sit here talking. Uh, I mean, I get, I, of course, everybody goes through it eventually. Right. But I mean, I'm going through it right now, and it's hard. Music is still a great diversion for Jerry. Boy, I'm still back where I was. You know, I spend as much time listening to Willie Nelson and the Kingston Trio as I do to Jay Z and Dr. Dre. Do, do you, you listen to Jay Z? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I got either one of those right. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Excellent. Jerry and his buddies are regulars at a favorite neighborhood haunt. It's friendly, but nothing like the buzz he would cause in Milwaukee. I loved. All the interaction with everybody. Jerry's favorite dinners these days are the ones he delivers. He's a Meals on Wheels volunteer. I have 14 people that I deliver a meal to every Thursday. In a room filled with Texas standards. Take note, Jerry has not gone cowboy on us. It's not his style. Get you some khakis and a hat. Though he was willing to indulge an old friend who just could not resist buying her very first pair of cowboy boots. I have fulfilled something on my love bucket list. Love bucket. That's pretty good. Jerry is clearly content in his retirement. Of course, he'd want me to wish you all, maybe y'all, better tomorrows.